All right, folks, gonna do a quick review on the new release of the Kato SD80 Mac, um, which is available in the Norfolk Southern or CSX. Um, they've done these several times before and also in some older schemes. The current run is in the horse head scheme of 7210 and 7216. Um, I actually picked up both, uh, so the other one's up there at the very, very top. Uh, I just recently put sound in this one, went with the ESU, which is basically the same thing as what you get in the Kobo Shops version. And also the Kobo Shops version comes pre-assembled with all of the detail parts already on, so basically mine is equivalent to that now. Um, typical Kato box it comes in, nothing out of the ordinary there. It is a little bit long because um, this locomotive is long. Um, it's definitely my favorite EMD locomotive. Um, it's the biggest, most powerful thing in Norfolk Southern's whole range of locomotives that they have. 5,000 horsepower, 80 feet long, just awesome. They also have a really, really unique sound because they have a 20-cylinder engine in them. So it's a little bit different than what the other 710s sound like, which is also why I decided to go with ESU, because Tsunami didn't have a specific 20-cylinder file. So, we'll go ahead and turn that on here. And there it is. Um, for a speaker, I just went with the uh, basic um, Zemo speaker. It's a 10 by 15 millimeter, kind of like the sugar cube speaker. I actually placed it towards the back here. Um, some of the other functions that are on it. Get the front headlight there. So these are pretty nice looking, um, it's kind of a yellowish light that it has, so it's not like an LED effect, it's not like a bluish color or anything like that, so it looks great. Um, the marker lights you could make active if you really, really wanted to. Um, the actual locomotives don't have that active, so I didn't see much point in trying to do that myself either. Um, I probably love this engine about as much as I hate the Atherton engine, the uh, one that I previously reviewed, the Dash 9. This thing is awesome. Um, the slow speed is probably better than almost any locomotive that I have. Um, pulling power, um, I have not yet found its maximum. I was able to pull 49 cars with this thing. A lot of them were coal cars, which are a little bit heavier than normal because they have coal loads in them. So the pulling power is fantastic. Um, with two of these, um, there's probably almost no train that you can't pull. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could pull a full train of 100 cars or more with just two of these. Uh, they are that strong. Um, so I'll go over some of the other sounds here on the ESU decoder as well. Turn that back on. So of course F0 is your lights, F1's the bell. You may have the horn. Coupler. The dynamic brake. And then F8 actually turns the sound on or off, of course. You can also manually notch the engine with F9. So I'm going to go up. And we'll notch that back down with F10. And 
and F11 is going to be the radiator. F12 is supposed to be a dimmer, but it doesn't seem to actually have much of a function. There's some radio chatter on here with F15. And there's a couple other functions in there. Uh, that's just some of the more basic stuff. So the next thing I want to show you is how slow this thing can actually run. So we're going to get it to go to an absolute crawl here. So it's moving, but super slow no jerking at all very very smooth So as you can see, absolutely fantastic. And it actually run that slow and that smooth with 50 cars hooked up to it. Um, it's just that good. Um, for the price, um, this is almost unmatched. Um, you can find these for about $130 at modeltrainstuff.com. Uh, that's without sound. Of course, you have to put the detail parts on yourself, which can be... A little bit intimidating. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Um, definitely don't do it on carpet because you will never ever find those parts once you drop them. Um, once it's together, I mean, it does look fantastic. Um, one thing, the color of the actual rails there, that yellow is not entirely exact, but if you don't like it, you can, of course, repaint it to something else. Um, so, I mean, that's really the only exterior flaw on here. Um, as far as the materials, I mean, they are relatively thin guardrails, but they're also very durable. Um, I accidentally knocked this thing over, um, didn't sustain any damage whatsoever. I hate to think what it would have looked like if it was an Athern or an Intermountain. It would have been completely destroyed. Um, I really think that Athern could learn a thing or two from these guys. Um, you know, they're producing a product that costs $130 and is far superior on drive detail and also the durability than what a lot of other products are and it's also done with better labor uh, these are built in japan as opposed to being built in china and the labor there is just way better it's a way better product and they're able to still do it at a lower cost so you got to kind of wonder why companies like athern and intermountain why exactly are they so much more expensive on comparable products i mean nobody else makes the sd80 but i'm pretty sure if anybody else did such as Intermountain or Athern, it would likely be more expensive as well. Um, in addition to, of course, probably being a lot less durable. So in closing, um, you can get these with or without sound. I have to get mine without sound, that way I could add it later. Um, I paid about $80 for my sound decoder and about $10 for the speaker. So altogether, I probably have about... 210 to about 220 dollars wrapped up in this locomotive which is a little bit less than what you can find the Kobo shops version for which those are going for around 240 um, those are nice for people who don't necessarily want to spend the time tracking down a decoder 
um, or at the very most putting on all these detail parts because that can be a pain and not everybody has the dexterity um, or the time or the patience or even the eyesight to do that. Um, fortunately at this point in time I, my hands and my eyes are still pretty good uh, but there probably will come a point in time where that's something I won't be able to do either and that's why the Kobo Shops versions are out there. Um, but I highly recommend this locomotive. Um, it's about as good as you can get in a product these days. Uh, can't say enough good things about this thing. Um, like I said, I really wish that other companies would be kicking out the type of quality that these guys are. Because uh, this, this is the best you can get. So that's it for this one.